Hey guys, so how does the template work? You may ask yourself. I will show you very quickly. First, let's take this group of templates and uh, copy this mobile template artboard. We can put it there. And let's change this one to the same height as the other ones. It's 1200. Um, yes, exactly. <clears throat> okay. So the plugin works like this. You just take the artboard, select the artboard, you go to Art Plugin, generate grid structure. You choose how many rows and columns you want to have. Say we have one to six columns and two rows, like that. You set us things up here. You can look at the documentation to understand this better. Uh, you have the link there. Uh, and let's put some padding and columns and margins and stuff like that. Everything can be changed afterwards. Really smooth and powerful. Boom. So what did we create here? We did a group called container and we have two rows here. Let's expand them. So we have this one here and this one here. Like that. And then you just start putting stuff inside it. Uh, and one thing to remember here is that Sketch orders things from bottom to top in the layer panel. So for example, if we look at this one, we have a container fluid. I will talk about those later. Uh, we have this one is down there. And this one is here. And we want it to be like this. So if I, for example, would change place with like this, this one there, let me show you how it looks in our renderer app. You always need to reload the renderer each time you are going to update uh, your design. Uh, Thank God it only, it caches everything. Uh, it caches the render app, not your design. Everything is based and placed locally, so nothing gets uploaded to our server. Let's take this one, and I will show you. So we go to the other one, and it's up there. Did you see that? Instead of being down here, it's up there. And this is also awesome because you just, by changing here, the order here, you get things really, you can try things out really, really fast and powerful. And this is the power thing, powerful thing about designing with code. But of course we are designers and yeah, we would maybe want to just put this one there and that one there. Yeah, you understand. So, but this is just to show you how it stacks everything. For example, let's do something really funky. Let's put the nav there. Let's see what happens now. Reload. The preview app. Boom. And we go to the other output and <laughs> it's there. Yeah. It's there instead of there. Pretty funky. Cool. That's it. That's all I have for now. Uh, have a great one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.